Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this decorative gumball machine. The first thing you'll need is a terracotta pot. You'll need a glass vase or a fish bowl. Something that looks kind of like uh, that would belong in a gumball machine. You'll need a terracotta saucer, one that fits snugly on top of your your vase. And this is optional, but you can also buy another saucer that you can glue over your base, which is the terracotta pot. If you look at this one, I didn't put a cover on it, but the one I'm going to show you how to make, I'm just going to put a cover just to show you the difference of how it looks. Now to start, you'll need to paint your terracotta uh, pots and saucers. I'm choosing to paint these red, but since I'm, I want it to be brilliant, I'll put a coat of white before I put the red, so the red comes out brighter than it would be since the terracotta is absorbent, and it might absorb all the paint, and it would take longer to paint in red for the colors to come out. So this is just acrylic paint. You can use whatever paint you have at home. And I would just paint one coat of white and then however many coats of the color that you choose till you can't see through the paint anymore. Okay, so my first coat of white paint is dry and now I'm going to put some red paint and this just saved me a lot of trouble. So I don't know how many coats of red paint I'm going to put yet but I'll let you know when I'm done. So I just finished painting and to get full coverage it took me about three coats of paint. But you can also use uh, spray paint and the glossy kind if you want to avoid the step of varnishing the paint because that's what I'm going to do next. Take some varnish or some glaze and protect the paint. I've also added a little do uh, doorknob and these are just these little wooden doorknobs, very inexpensive, that you can glue with hot glue or if you want to make sure that it's really uh, stuck there, really solid, then you can use some E6000 glue. But um, open your windows because it's very toxic to use this glue in a closed um, area. So now I'm just going to varnish the paint just to protect just to protect it but you don't have to do this now that everything's been varnished it's time to assemble the pieces here I've put some E6000 glue this is very strong glue that you can find at the craft store uh, in the jewelry making section or you can go to your hardware store if you can't find this glue and ask them uh, what they would recommend so I, I'm putting the bigger saucer on top so it's making a solid base for your vase. Now what you'll need to mimic the slot, you'll need to go to the hardware store and get one of these metal circles, they're called reducing washers and a butterfly knot. You can use whatever you want uh, that you have around the house that looks kind of like a slot if you can't find these but these are very easy to find and they're very inexpensive I think uh, this was 25 cents and this was something like 40 cents so they're not expensive and what you'll need to do since it's flat you'll need to bend it a little bit so it has a little bit of a curve a little bit of a curve so it'll fit nicely on your pot so again, you take a little bit of that um, E6000 glue and you'll put some in the back of your washer. I'm being a little sloppy today, but you can be more careful than I am. So you just glue that at the bottom like this
You can paint the inside of the circle black if you really want to pretend that it's a hole, but um, that's up to you. And I'm going to use the same glue for the, n the butterfly knot. And since I don't like this hole, I don't like it to show it to show, so I'm just going to put a little uh, rhinestone to hide the hole. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue for that. So now the only thing that's left to do is put some glue on the edge and you'll stick your vase on top of it. And it's very important that you use strong glue so it so it doesn't um doesn't come apart when you uh, you hold it. I'm not sure, but if you can't find this glue, maybe you can try clear colored silicone for the bathrooms. Maybe that would work, but I would really ask the, the people there at the hardware store. And then you can just put the top of your saucer on top, and here you go. You have your gumball machine. You have to wait about um, one or two days for the glue to really set, for it to really be solid. And this is a really wonderful gift that you can give to anybody. I'll show you more examples in just a little bit. I forgot to mention, if your little butterfly knot or your uh, little washer uh, come out and they don't stick, just put some masking tape over it till it dries and it won't fall out. This is another example of something you can do. You can use one of those wine glasses that doesn't have a stem and use it on top of a smaller pot. And since my saucers weren't big enough to go around the rim, I just stuck together two of them and I used the small part of the saucer to put it on top. And here I just put like a full finish to make it look old just with black and red paint. And you can put your sugar, your tea, your coffee, whatever you'd like inside. This is another example that I've made using a bigger bigger bowl and the shape is different. It's in the shape of a um, fish bowl. And it would be the perfect gift if you would like to give someone some homemade cookies. And this whole entire uh, cookie jar, it only cost me $9, I think. And that's just because the... Um, the bowl was uh, a little bit more expensive, but besides that, it's really inexpensive, and I painted to make it look um, industrial. And since I didn't want the top to slide over, all you'll need to do, if that ever happens, since it's a round shape, you'll need to just glue a second saucer inside. This way it makes like um, a rim so it holds solidly on top of the fish bowl and it won't slide and since it's very um, I, since I use the E6000 glue it's very solid you could even lift it up by the little um, little doorknob so I hope you enjoyed this activity and you'll try it out it's really inexpensive and it's very creative and Use your imagination, paint whatever you'd like on them, put stickers or 
maybe uh, decoupage some pictures of family or whatever you'd like. Let me know what you think. If you've made some, I would love for you to send me pictures on my Facebook page. So enjoy crafting. Goodbye.